Bum, 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 bum. The very first playthrough. Bum, 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 bum. All Star right. Trek Alliance Part 2. Bum, 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 bum. Coming yeah, we from me to you. Bum, bum, bum. Kapla. So it's now start date 50564.2. The year is 2373, and a large Dominion fleet has come through the wormhole. As the USS Defiant and the forces of Deep Space Nine prepare for battle, the fleet turns toward Cardassian space, and Gul Dukat announces that Cardassian has joined the Dominion. What a great villain. Oh, yeah. The newly arrived Dominion fleet has given new strength to the Cardassians in their war against the Klingons, turning the tide and pushing them into retreat. With battered ships and broken morale, the Klingon Empire has little choice but to work with the Federation and form a new alliance to face the combined might of the Cardassian and Dominion forces at their doorstep. Ba -ba -bum -bum. So welcome everyone to Star Trek Alliance Box 2. We're going to play the first introductory mission of this box. Oh yeah. However, we are also carrying forward your yeah. captain from Box 1. That's right. With so some I new tricks. You want I should we put them in the little hopper here? I had the Akira class, and we'll just like, which which we uh, on the previous video, and the upgrades that I have are those. So I had the yep. dorsal phaser so array. recap, the we commander. got the, the commander here. So the an Riker. action to, yep, you can spend your action to get a battle station and an evade. That's pretty good. BA Reich, badass and Reich. And the, uh, the dorsal phaser array. So which three. was like MVP. Yeah, it was awesome, because you get to shoot at whatever uh, direction you want for three dice at range one to two. Now, the last the last sets of missions that we had, we actually like lost oh. a whole bunch of stuff. So we didn't get XP till the very, very end. And then mm -hmm. you and I were like on such a roll, we decided to just blow away a bunch of stuff for bonus XP, kind of slingshotting yep, us back in That last bit. mission is meant to be a little bit of a Yeah, so I bought... You got uh, some new stuff, right? I bought some captaincy. So I brought my, cap my captain skills now three. Yep. And I got this thing. Uh, and then I bought this thing with the extra slot that I get. Um, All right, so the medal you got for unlocking your, your medal slot and having three points in captain skill allows you to spend three points on your, your medal here. Evasive Pattern Delta. So it's a unique talent. Only one player in the whole uh, squad can have it. But Combat Phase, spend an evade token beside the ship and discard it. Perform a maneuver with speed two. Hey. So after you've seen everything, but right before shooting happens, hey, you get to fly somewhere for free. That's amazing for dodging arcs. I'm sure you're gonna put it to cool use. Oh, I will, I will spend that thing. That's a cool yeah. party trick. And it works really well with the commander that gives me a, fr a free evade with my, my yeah, battle Yeah, you get the extra right? token. You're still gonna get your battle stations and you may have an evade left over. There you go. It can also just help you get into range sometimes if you don't need the evade. I, exactly. Yep. And the other one, new one you've got is Helmsman here. So activation phase, when this ship's maneuver is revealed, disable this card, increase or decrease the speed by one, even if this results in a maneuver that doesn't appear on your ship's dial. I mean, so... There, there's some tricky stuff I've seen you do with this. Yeah, this, this is a good the one. Helmsman was the MVP to help save Joe in the very first filming that we did of Alliance 1. Right. Where I didn't want him to get shot up. Mm-hmm. It's the opposite of leaving your opponent, your friend behind, right? Nah, yeah, so what sure. I did was I did a move zero to maintain target so the enemy would hit me instead of him while he got off the board. It was yep. a clutch move. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we had a couple of beers before, so we were cheering pretty hard. <laughs> okay, so this is this is exciting for me because you and your brother worked very hard on developing the scenarios in this game. Yeah, we totally did. And I, even though part of the team, I actually don't really get a chance to see these things in development yeah. all the time. Yeah, so you were around for pre-production, really, and I don't think like most of these cards are new to you. I'm prob You probably don't know what my Vorchak can do, even. Yeah, this is great for me, um, and a lot of the times in Linvander, I don't participate in the development past the beginning, so I have no idea what to expect right now. And, and you've I'm, never I'm, played these scenarios. Either. I'm very happy to just, like, be the, be the, you know, it's where it's like, but isn't this your, like, are you a partner of the company? Isn't this part of your game? It's like, yeah, but... Sometimes it's good to just like you're fighting a different battle. I'm, I'm, I mean, I I'll, I was working on another thing, but yeah, this is good. So I'm really excited. I already know it's going to be entertaining AF. So I'm really excited to see <laughs> this place go off. So what let me are you introduce doing? you yeah. to my ship here. Dun, 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 dun. Got my Vorcha class attack cruiser. This is like the Klingon equivalent of the Galaxy and it's class. Yeah, when I've got it on a nice magnetic. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. So I'm gonna put that guy back here for now. Uh, Punch is real good. It's got five attack value. Uh -huh. it's awesome up close. Uh, it's got even a little bit more than the uh, Federation's Akira class from Box One. So it really hits like a tank. Um, Klingons don't really do so great with shields. They no, don't you, on them. Why, why would and you use shields for if your enemy's dead? minimal defense dice. This cloak. is really just, I can cloak. Which that's, that's the, there you go. There's your evade. 
Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So how is this different from the uh, Excelsior, which is what the which is the ship yeah, you played so in the previous I've got, missions? I've got a lot more attack, but it's only in my front 90 degree firing arc. So I'm going to have to fly a little bit more Five. carefully. Five. Yeah, you're going to be blowing stuff up. Well, just wait till you see the upgrades I've got. So mm. there's that. Uh, I can't take battle stations, which is a unique feature of Klingon ships in Star Trek Attack Wing. Oh. So I'm going to be leaning heavily on target lock and evade when I'm not cloaking or uh, sensor echoing. I can only sensor echo if I've evaded. Right, right, Or right. cloaked, rather. Uh, and then otherwise, I can take a tech, a uh, weapon, and a crew, but because I start with enough experience points to be captain skill four, um, I also get an extra slot, which I'm going to use for a tech. So, cool stuff I've got. Let's do... I'm trying to, trying to see which ones you want to show first for yeah, impact. Yeah, well, it, they also they stack in a certain way right. where it doesn't make sense to show certain things. Targeting array. So this is a Klingon tech for four points. Um, I can have two blue target lock tokens. So you're going to see me having uh, target lock D and F that belong to the Vorcha. I, I love this, this battle. so much. This is uh, so good. When I perform a target lock action, I get to target lock two different things that are in range. So that's pretty cool. That can mean, you know, I can take a target lock for this turn, do a thing, and then uh, have one for next turn if I want to do something else, like evade that turn. Right. Here's where it stacks. Here's the combo. Ooh, combos are so good. So we got converging fire. Combat phase, friendly ships can spend my blue target, or my target lock tokens as if they were their own. So if I target <laughs> lock two ships, I can use one, you can use one. And with my my cool combination with the um, uh, battle stations and evade, I can use my battle stations to really make sure the quality of your target lock rerolls are good. Oh yeah, you're gonna have perfect quality as long as we're like nearby and you can use my target lock. As long as you're gonna be in range of something I've lock locked, basically. Right. Okay, not a particularly flashy upgrade, but really handy nonetheless. Uh, reinforced hull, I just get two extra hull. I mean, so now I'm two shields and seven hull. <laughs> I have ten, nine hit points. That should be pretty so good. So you're one less hit point from the Excelsior, which was five and five, but yep. hey. Uh, same defense value. Uh, the, you're punching a lot harder I, than the Excelsior Yeah, was. I am, but only in a very focused direction. All right, and then finally, uh, I've got this last upgrade here um, before I show you the, the medal I chose. But this is the Helmsman crew, just like your Helmsman. Uh -huh. uh, this guy also lets me do some tricky maneuvering. Um, whereas yours is mine can is change me, the speed of your maneuvers. Yeah, mine lets me go faster or slower based on whatever. Yeah, this guy is uh, an execute maneuver step. If this ship performed a non-red maneuver that did not overlap any ships or obstacles, so was it clean? Yep. Disable this card. Perform any maneuver with a speed of one on this ship's dial. So is I it? basically can do a one forward, a one bank. But does it count as a green one? Nope. I mean, uh, from its dial. The ship oh, is you green. don't even have any green. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, all yeah, his ones do. and twos yeah, are green. Know. That's right. Actually, Basically. your maneuverability is almost better than mine. Um, maybe. I, I do have the three come about. I have... It, actually, I think our dials are almost the same, except I think my two banks are green and yours aren't. So, yeah. yeah. He's a little bit more beastly. Bigger ship. Why? Wow, eh? You need to up, you need to up your captain skill and get in that galaxy class. Ah, uh, you know what? I figured well, I'm halfway through, I'll maybe jump into the galaxy class. Once we get Joe back, we'll give him back the Akira and I'll go... Nah, that sounds right. Okay, and then last but not least, let me show you this quirky thing that's going to work well with my helmsman. It's a reckless assault in very, true Klingon fashion. Very barbarian. Yep. When attacking with this ship's primary weapon, if you are within the target's primary firing arc at range one, roll an extra attack die. So, so you want to be right in there. If I'm at range one in arc and they're at range one in arc of me, I can get an extra die. I want to just like joust them in the face yeah. and win. So this is going to be great for I'm killing like very Klingon. Jem Jemhadar attack ships. Let's do it. But we'll see. Let's we'll dig see in. if it works out. Let's dig in. All right, so let me read you the intro for this scenario we've got set up. Captain's log. Yeah. So this scenario, uh, Act 4, because the acts continue from the previous campaign. Ooh. So this is Episode 4. Yeah. It came out after Episode 1, 2, and 3. We did it right. Sure. <laughs> Or we planned it. I, yeah, this sci-fi sure. this sci-fi movie did it right. Mm. No. <laughs> By Inferno's Light is the introductory mission. Ooh, good name. It's named after the episode. It's all cool. of the all of the missions in this, I think, with the exception of one, are named after episodes of Deep, uh, Deep Space Nine. It's a good name. Uh, mission briefing, star date five zero five six four point two. The proclamation of Gal Dukat to join the Dominion and for Cardassia to become 
the true leaders of the Alpha Quadrant, has sent shockwaves through the Federation. The subsequent treaty between the Klingon Empire and the Federation has put Klingon boots on Deep Space Nine in the fight against the Dominion. From our vantage point at Deep Space Nine, we have witnessed the Dominion sending weekly convoys of material through the wormhole to support Cardassia. There hasn't been a major offensive from Cardassian space yet, but it's only a matter of time. Assemble a joint strike force and ambush the next colony, uh, convoy to Cardassia. Once you enter sensor range, they're certain to scatter and call for reinforcement. Good hunting, Captains. All right. So this scenario, our objective is to destroy the Dominion convoy over here. There's four of them. Four ships, uh, these Karama trader ships from DS9. Mm -hmm. um, we have to destroy freighters equal to or greater than the number of players. So we got to kill two of the four at least. Oh, I see. So, so some of them get through. That's fine. But do we get bonus XP for killing all of them? You betcha. Hey, hey. Yep. Uh, if, if we meet the uh, objective, we get one each. If we destroy all four freighters, we get two total. Nice. Uh, but I'm assuming this little guy here isn't the only protector. Oh, well, he's the only escort we know about right now, but there will be some more of them over the coming rounds. <laughs> so, freighters are basically ship models. We don't have nice models for them, but these are the punch to tokens you get in the box. Uh, they've got one attack, one defense, and three hull. So they're pretty soft, but they will shoot back if you're in their firing arc. Well, of course, because they're like, you know, the Jim Hadar yep. don't, don't create... Nothingness. That's not like the runabout that we lost earlier on. Yep. Uh, and they're going to attack after uh, at the end of the combat phase. Each freighter attacks, so they're functionally like Captain Skill Zero. They're okay. just enough to keep on course and not much else. They're no real combat experience. Are they going straight through? They are not. We're going to roll um, a green die for them and determine how, that determines which of a possible set of moves they do. They're going to go generally two forward, three forward, or two bank one one way. So or they're going to try and get their objective is to get on this side of the battlefield. Yep, they're heading to the opposite corner down there, which is marked on the little diagram here for the scenario. Oh, so they, there is a limit as to where they can get out on. They can't if they're over here. They, it doesn't they count. can yeah, they can escape from this edge or that edge anywhere along. Holy but cow! But generally, they prefer to maneuver toward the corner. Wow! So they can get out here. Probably they won't. Um, but they the, could. The banks will bring them toward the closest Dominion Edge. Likely they will spread out in a fork. Let's take them out. Let's yep. kill them. Uh, right now. And that's pretty much it. I'm ready to go. I'm getting my dice. Yeah. Let's blast them. Okay, so this scenario is interesting. I mean, I know you're sneaky, and I'm glad that I haven't even read the scenario, so I actually have no idea what's coming. So for me, this is an exciting endeavor. It seems pretty straightforward to just kind of punch, like to just curve in and take some out. I mean, they move at like speed two, right? So by the time you get there, they could be a little further toward the middle, but yeah. So they're going to be, they're going to move to about here and I can bank three and take some shots even through the asteroids. Yeah. They're also, because they're like captain skill zero, they move before us. Yeah. So they'll all move, then he'll move, then we'll move. And actually, I think I'm higher skill than you as well. You're I'm skill three, right? Three currently. So I'm four now with this uh, oh, this tough, shot. Tough guy. All right. Yep. All right. I'm, just, I'm the better captain, though. So, all right, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I got to think about what this war shot can, can really put put down. I'm, yeah, okay, I got a plan. You got a plan? Yep. Today is a good day to hunt some Dominion convoy ships. Perhaps not very glorious or honorable. Yeah, they don't I, fight back terribly I'm going well. three. I'm going three. All right. I'm going three. I'm going three. I'm going in. All in. Let's All do right. It. So boom, roll, boom. roll me a green die one at a time, and we'll see where these guys okay, go. Okay, so, so the first guy? one, he is going battle stations. That's a three forward. Oh, that's great. That's so good. Okay. Roll me another. All right, for the next guy beside him. Yep. Blank. So he's going to do a two forward. And they're going to spread out a little bit as they go. Makes sense. Okay. He's got the lead foot. Next guy. Where's she going? Blank. Two also forward. Two forward. And the last one. Three forward. Okay. Mm, cluster together a bit. Interesting. Pattern weirdness. Yep. Okay, now this guy here. Yep. He, what is his objective? Just to stop us? Yeah, he's just on attack orders. He's going to intercept the nearest player. I think we're equidistant at the moment, so. Yeah, we are. So, well, well let's do what we did last time. Evens odds? Uh, yeah. You got the odds, I I'll got the odds. Evens. It's on me again. Okay. Uh, he is my... definitely in my quarter flank. Where did my D... There's my D6. There we go. He's definitely in the quarter flank. Three. Yep. So that's going to be a two bank toward you. Okay. Uh, is it... 
Is it this way? I think it's actually his side. It's that's what I said. It's so, so, oh, so, so, it's okay. Side. Like, um, okay, yeah, it's two turn toward them. Not two too turn. Back. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, you know, just turn bang, turn off and intercept you, leaving the Klingon to swoop in from behind. Yeah, that's probably what you want. You said you're uh, going four forward. It'll be yeah. Yeah, you're going right in, eh? So you're next. Uh, I am. I'm going to go for a three bank. So I'm not going to get a. Sh I'm probably not going to get a shot off on this guy, but I'm definitely going after the freighters. Looks like you got uh, a shot through the asteroid against the nearest freighter. Uh, yes, which is fine. Right it on. Looks like it is in range three, so there'll be so there'll be lots of defense on his end. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to kick in my. Uh, you know, I could spend that helmsman right away. And get out of his. Oh, I still be in his arc. It's not worth it. Well, the helmsman lets you increase your speed of your maneuver when you reveal it, right? So instead of a three bank, it would become a four bank. Yeah. So I would be over here, but that's still in the range. Yeah. yeah I don't I'm know. Go here. I think it's better to make your two turns into one turns and stuff like that. The, yeah. The outlier moves. Right? No, no, you're right. I was just, I'm just anxious. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. All right. And so that guy you, wasn't in range when he did his maneuver, which means scan. he's going to end up with... Uh, no, you weren't in range at all. He had, yeah, scan. So it's going to be good when he's against my defense, which is smart. I guess. Because it reduces my defense, right? Okay, so let's move... Yes, it will. He'll spend it to reduce your def your defense value by one. Yeah, smart. Okay. Vorcha coming. Dun, 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 I probably could have done a three bank. Let's see if I'm in target lock range. Nothing. Mm, that's just out. Yeah, so Bummer. nothing for the Vorchi. Uh, let's see. Let's do want I, to use your helmsman. Do I want? Yeah, I could. So after, if the ship performed a non-red maneuver that did not overlap any ships or obstacles, disable this card. I can do a speed one move. Yeah, let's do That'll that. That'll get you in range of this guy. It will. Do I want to hunt him or do I want to hunt the uh, the freighters? Well, I don't want to take a beating. Well, I'm not going to destroy <laughs> it. It's too far away. Uh, let's do this. Look at this. You got five dice. You got. Or maybe we can combo on this guy. Well, I'm going for him now. So right. you, you told me to fight the Gem Hadar. I'll fight the Gem Hadar. Double target lock his ass. Uh, I can double target lock something. Am I closer to this guy now? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. So ding, 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 ding. somewhere I have. There they are. Beep, beep, D for destruction. Beep, beep, beep. F for finish you later. Ooh, nice. Okay. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, you get the sheep first. I do. Uh, I also need to disable token because I'm going to end up using them a lot. So Helmsman's tired. He's done his job propelling the ship forward. Um, yeah, let's shoot some stuff. You get to pepper this guy. Yeah. Range three. Forchaw is five dice inherently. And that guy's going to be rolling, yeah, three with a scan. Okay, I'm probably going to target lock him. Yeah, those are lots of battle stations. Let's reroll those. Target lock spent. Yep. Three hits total. Two, and... two evades, so one goes in on the shield. Okay. Hey, that's enough. That's enough to get started. Actually, deal them out here. I'm going to run out of space here with uh, all these cards that I need. One shield gone. Yep. All right. I guess I shoot next. You uh, betcha. I'm going to drop some 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 some, some well-oiled phaser fire. Uh, <laughs> although he's out of arc. Yeah. By well, quite a bit. Well, I've got the dorsal thing. Uh, all right. So I'll drop some well-oiled phaser okay. blast. So freighter is one defense. Yep. It's range three, right? So yeah. second one and the asteroid three. Yeah. Whatever the odds. Oh, um, you really I'm, need my target lock. I'm. Can I spend it? No, I can't. Well, it's on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think it's wise for me to use the battle stations for this, and I should keep it for defense. Probably. Yeah, I'll do that. One's not going to get through against three green. No. So I'll keep it. So oh, off okay. to a stellar opposite to the end of the last match. Yeah, sometimes that's how it goes. <laughs> okay. That's our shooting. So he's going to shoot you. Okay. Range three. He's got three dice. I got my three defense. Let's see if they're still hitting like trucks. No, um, no. Well, you're going to roll three one fewer die, one. right? Yeah. Uh, evade plus you're one. Good. Yeah, I'm good. Don't okay. even, didn't even need your tokens. And none of these guys can hit. Can this guy hit you? Yep. Uh, I mean, it's a pathetic attack. It's one attack die, and I am two defense at this yep. range. I'll roll it. Ready? Yep. One hit. Uh, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say it was a pathetic attack. All right, new round. So uh, round yeah. two. Reinforcements? So, yep. Of course. Dominion Alpha shows up, which is an elite Jem'Hadar fighter coming in from a random direction. Dun, 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 dun. Point five. Point five is, yeah, this map is quirky. So point five is range three from that corner on this edge. Oh, my God. Range three from the corner. So like literally right here? Uh, on the dividing line, yeah. So let's give you this guy. So he's literally right there. Hello. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I might actually be better for you because he, he might be too close. 
He might be like able to play around. Cause him. he'll move before me, right? Yeah. Let's see what his jam is. Yeah, give him. Just give us something good here. Well, Wait, we got you, one of the box two you cards. You one of the box two cards. I did oh, deliberately. Is... Captain skill four. Activation phase after performing an action also plays a scan. What? This guy's great. He's reducing shields like crazy. Reducing Dude, this is type. punishing. Why would you do this to players? <laughs> this is punishing. Wait, wait till you see what else we use scan for in this box, because this is this is insidious other benefits that you don't know what about. What are yet. you doing? Having a scan on always is bad. You basically might as well just say, stop rolling defense dice and eat it. <laughs> well, my ship won't roll any defense dice against him, so yeah. <laughs> won't evade normally. Okay, uh, new round. Yeah, well, that's the beginning of round two, so we can dial in. Oh, well, now what do I do? Well, this guy's probably going to go this way or this way. So I have to gauge how crazy I want to pull this off. Yep. I'm I'm thinking I might joust that freighter. I think I'm going to... You're going to joust a freighter? You're going to try and get this guy off my back? Uh, well, if I do that, I'll get peppered by four freighters, which, as we just saw, is a bit dangerous. I think I'm going to go four forward, because the odds are I'll get the back freighters. Yeah. And if you I, can swoop in behind them, that's great. Just, if like if one of us is just hunting them down, yeah, I'll do that because I have a. So in theory, keep in mind they're all moving before you. They're going to be somewhere forward of their position. Yeah, but I mean, even if this is three forward, I'm still going to be able to hit them. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bank on that because otherwise I'm hitting an asteroid. Um, and then I'm, I'm banking that this guy can't keep up with me because mm -hmm. he moves first. But this yep. guy will swoop in, and hopefully I can get ahead of him enough to to keep that asteroid off my back. I forgot to mention that they also gain battle stations after they move. So it's one die with battle stations. Oh, well. That's and they can defend one die with battle stations. Still pretty good quality. Yeah. yeah. This guy didn't guy take nothing on me. That's right. Okay, let's do it. I'm yeah, dialed in. I think I'm going to swoop in. Four forward. Ten forward. Or, yeah, maybe I do just hunt down your guy. You know what? Let's just do it. You, really? I mean, it's up to you. I mean... I will smear the freighters, and it's probably a good idea just to reduce the total number of them a bit. I'll take care of the freighters. You get get this, this this noise off my back. Yeah, you should have no trouble destroying them. So let's see how that goes. For yeah, you. I got I got a, I got a good punch. Plus I got the dorsal array. So no matter where I end up, I'm going to be shooting them. Yeah, right? three dice against three hull. It's not yep. bad. Okay. All right, I'll try for that, Jemadar. Then. So first things first. And then at least I'll be closer to target lock things you might also be able to shoot at. What's his captain skill? Four. Yours is four. Yep. Uh, in that case, they go before me. So this guy's going first. So front arc closing in. What happens? No, no, it's. Them first, oh, yeah. then him, I'm then you, then the new uh, uh, elite, then me. Oh, it's gonna go after me. Oh, hold on, let me re yeah. let me reprogram. You gotta get to Captain Skill Four so that they move before you. That will be that will be like a big value for next experience points. Shit. Yeah. Because mm. he's probably just gonna swoop in behind you, right? Yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. I mean, your ship is a lot more defensible than mine. You produce an evade token every turn and a battle stations, and you have two defense dice. And should almost I, the same total. Should hull. I bother evading or should I just like come about and blow his head off? No, I'll go for Someone needs you know to kill these. I'm going for this forward. Is gonna, this I'm going to go for forward, forward still. Yeah, I'm going for forward still. All right. I'm going to stay, stay true to my uh, thing. Because if this guy gets too close to me, you can pepper him too. Sure. All right. We're all in. So I guess that would be the freighters go, don't they? Yep. Uh, roll me a green oh, die. Yep, green die number one. It is an evade this time. Okay, we haven't seen an evade yet. So this is a two bank using whichever bearing will take the ship closest to the Dominion edge of the map. So oh, either north or way. south. It he's going way. that way. He's like he's he's detecting that I'm. I, gonna... I may yet run down that freighter if I'm yeah. going to be behind I think him. You're probably going to. Okay, the next guy with Give the, him with the target lock is also going to go there. Well, the closest edge for him is this way. He's trying to avoid you. Yep. Uh, the next guy is going forward by f uh, blank, which is I think is two. Yep. And the guy behind him is going as well too. So that actually worked out a little bit in my favor because I'm going to get into him. You're going to get one of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to end up here, which yeah. is going to blast the crap out of the last guy there. Sounds like wow. a plan. This is a lot more evasive than I thought. Oh yeah, they're they're really squirrely. Okay, so this guy here's front arc closing in. Uh, yep. Is it dead center or is it off to the side? It's dead center. He's, he's in the center arc. Cool. Uh, really? It looks like it overlaps you, though. If it overlaps you, we go for the one you're facing. Oh, so then it is the corner. Yeah. Okay. In which case, uh, it's range three? It is. Okay. Uh, two bank towards. I already grabbed it. I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what yeah, would I, You had an intu intuition. What would I do? I'm like, I would go two bank. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. Sneaky protecting his friends. Tricks. Jerk. Yep. 
You're next. Then the ace, then the porcha. Although I think with the four forward that I took, I may have cleared his arc. Yeah. So I'm not getting shot by that guy. This you time. could also helmsman if you want to do five. Well, hold on. What's the cost for helmsman? Does he disable? Yeah, but before I do that, mm. am I still in his range to shoot? Yeah, he still gets me. Well, this is why I think helmsman is when you reveal the dial, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but. I mean, you're not really revealing the you, dial. You should do it before you lay the template, is all I'm saying. Oh, I should. Okay, well, you know what? I didn't have it, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to use Helmsman. I'll just accept the punishment of my weirdness. There you go. Take your actions, though. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I'm going to do, do my usual. The classic. The classic. The classic. Oh, we need some more battle stations, though. Uh, maybe. Yeah. These yeah, guys you, are... you don't use them, so here. I... Yeah, why do I have them? <laughs> What's on. a battle station? Come we on, have Klingon. Lock. Come on, Klingon. Klingon. I think I only opened the one box worth the tokens, but you got your whole collection. You know what you don't somewhere. have over there? This thing, in case you decide to cloak. Yeah, it's true. Kaloka. I, I could, All right. I could do that. I'm uh, I'm done. Let's go for this last guy. I am in the quarter quarter closing yep. closing in range too. Uh, that's gonna be a three turn right on your tail. Oh man. Gross. Oh, that is. I'm already in trouble. This is bad. It. Yeah. I think it's time for evasive pattern delta. Uh, well, let's. I gotta move first, and then you can decide. Yeah, you move first. I don't have a helmsman again, though, so I'm just stuck doing another four forward. Just cut across all these freighters. You're gonna get peppered. The, the fact that they scattered actually is gonna help me a lot, because it means I'm not just gonna get obliterated by a group of four of them. Yeah, well, you're still in trouble. Being, being shot down by freighters is really dishonorable. Un inglorious. So, I'm in trouble with four dice quality behind it. This guy gets a, a, a battle token, right? Yep, battle station and a scan. Scan. I don't have another battle station right now, so we know that these guys. This one's are... not going to be irrelevant. Just yeah. take it for now. Yep. Okay. Here's the here's the problem problemo. Um, I think I can get a speed of two. Mm -hmm. So I think I can actually turn this way. Sure. I'll still be in his arc, but I won't be. I won't get the extra. The you extra won't get damage. range one. Yeah. Which is, I don't know if that's worth it right now. Um, it puts you in a good position to keep swooping behind the convoy. You'd be a little closer. Like, yeah, it may actually be hard to track them because you'd be right up on behind them. But it gets you out of this guy's arc, which is good. Yeah, getting getting like that's that it'll actually reduce four dice on me, which is a huge thing. Yeah, that is a huge. So thing. for the rest of the fight, this is gone. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, so we're in the combat phase. I we can are. do this now. Yep. So I will spend the evade. And I will expend my evasive pattern delta. You can probably put that in there again while I'm doing my evasive pattern delta. Just yep. show people so they can read it over there if they want. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the right call would be a either a two bank. Will that, will that smash me into that ship though? By the way, I'm going to do a target lock for my action so I can put this. I, I'm going to use this one myself, but I can give you. You're going to go for the front guy or the back guy, you think? Front I, guy? I think. If, so here's the thing if I go two bank, mm -hmm. you probably hit them. I don't crash so. into them. But I can, I can see it's like speed, it's speed one uh, maneuver with a speed of two. It has to be a speed two maneuver. Yeah, because it's just like yeah, get out of here. Uh, you think two will? I don't think two will hit him. You think two will hit him? A two bank, I think, will crash you into the ship. What happens then? Nothing. Nothing. I guess you've already got your action token. That's the so. point of it, right? Yeah. So, and I'm gonna get out of there, and I'll get my point blank on the guy. So I should put it on this guy then. Yeah. Okay. Coordinate that a little better. Yeah. There. He's just going, just, I'm just like pile driving the guy. I don't yep. even care. And that'll no, get every, me. Everything you liked about playing co op in box one is uh, heightened in this game. In, yeah. in this one for sure. There's a lot more like working together, sharing tokens type stuff. In and I've reduced two. one die here and three dice, four dice from here because it was also. Yeah, he's one. not shooting you at all. So I really made some help here. Okay. Worth. That's my movement. You got that one card and it was worth like six shield upgrades. Holy there cow. You go. Wow. Yep. It's a good thing. Well, well I it. guess this guy, you're sh this guy's shooting I'm, first. Um, yes. AI always goes first. So three dice. Throw three dice into me. Okay. And I get one less evade die, and it is still currently... Here's your spent upgrade it is back. It's currently range two. Yep. Thank you. Battle station for three. Gross. I get, I get one evade die, and I evade. So I only take two. So my nice. shields are gone. And he spent his scan. Okay. Boy, that guy's punishing. But yeah. He is punishing. He's a pretty good sniper. He's good I, at finding cloaked Klingon ships, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, you're next. Mm hmm. I'm going to lay into this freighter. It's range two. 
Need five dice. And I really have nothing else besides spending the target lock, so here we go. Uh, yeah, I'll re-roll that. Might as well, right? Yep. Oh. Uh, four hits and a crit. He can roll a defense die, but I don't think it helps him. Nope. He's roadkill. Here's Back your my target lock. I'll keep the battle station over here. Return. One down. Mm. Goodbye, freighter. freighter no supplies one. for you, Dominion scum. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, I guess I get to shoot now. Five dice into the side of this guy. Yeah. With the with with quality. Yep. Uh, so there's two. Uh, I guess I could spend that target lock if I really wanted to, right? Just re-roll the blank. Yeah, do it. He's not going to survive this turn if you're doing all Three this Three hits, stuff, so. and then I convert those two. With for five, he'll roll his defense, but yeah, he doesn't matter either. He's oh, gone. Oh, dude, we just won the mission. Yeah, but we really want to destroy all four. Yeah, I hear you. There you go. That's yours. Cool. Well, all right. Well, that's that's deli- that's a delicious turn for the best. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go in behind this guy still for the next turn. Uh, uh, and this guy has to shoot me, yeah. yeah. So he's got two. one die on you? One die. With quality. Oh, one yeah, hit. one hit. Okay, I got one evade and no, no quality. Hey, yeah, oh. look at that. We're not going to fall for that trick twice. Big R ship. Freighter captain. <laughs> so good. All yeah, right. They're annoying in this swarm. Like, there's enough So round them. three, any more? Uh... Oh, yeah. Dominion second wing arrives, which is another single fighter. It's coming in from random bearing. Point one. Point one is... Uh, one, two, range three from this corner. So he's over here. That's not good either. You can follow me around. I don't so maneuver so how do well. we, so we beat the two, we're going to beat the four. When is it over, over? So, uh, we can retreat from either this edge or that, or sorry, no, either of the two starting edges. So this edge or this edge, once we've finished our mission, and we automatically retreat at the end of round 10. So, so after we've killed them, we should just leave. So, yeah, I think what happens now is I'm going to pursue this guy from behind. Yep. If I can blow him away, I'm going to proceed off the edge before I get killed. Because I've got no shields left. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, they really stepped it up. It's going to get going to get messy. If you're going to go for this one? I think it's the better choice. Because then you can... I'm not sure how I get this guy. You just turn I think it, maybe, this turn turn, him. maybe this turn I don't get him. You, you, you hard turn. I think he'll overfly me. Because he's going to do a two bank or two forward, right? He's somewhere. Do you come about? He's somewhere. I do. Do that. Hmm. Because then you want to fly this way off the mission anyway, right? This edge, this edge, or this edge. I can just keep going. So how are you going to get that guy then? So that guy's even going to be harder. I thought you're getting this guy. I'm going after him. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. I just want to make sure that whatever I do, I'm still in range three of him, so I can give you a target lock. I think that's I, where the value I think is. I'm going to go three bank on that guy. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> five dice with no quality. If, if he does park in my way and I crash into him, it's still five dice on three dice. Or sorry, five dice on one die with three hull. Yeah, you got it. Probably I can do some big damage. I may not destroy him. You're, I really, talking, you're talking about crashing into him? Yeah, I'm talking about him. I'm, I'm planning a maneuver. He's going to park in my way and I'm going to hit him. Yeah, I don't know. Come about? Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? What? Let's... Let's just uh, split the difference a bit. Take some shots at the Jem'Hadar. Try and take some of them off the table. Yep. And plan for a come about next round so I can flip behind the freighter. Because he might still go this way. We don't know. He may go this way or this way. Other option is, is I ignore that guy for now. I go in between these two and I dorsal this guy. And you give me target lock for quality. But I'm only rolling three dice, so I'm going to have to really push a, a crit through to try and take him down. That's not the. That's not a safe play. I need to get the four dice into this. Game. I think you can actually two turn because we're, th- we're thinking we're thinking he's somewhere in here, right? If you two turn two turn behind him, yeah. you'll have your main weapons, your primary weapons, not your dorsals, and then you have target lock on him too, and then you can carry on and get this guy next round. I don't right. need to All destroy right. him. All right, I'll trust you. I'm going two turn. You're gonna take out this uh, this elite for me, please. I'm gonna try. Uh, let's do. You probably want to do a two turn as well. Uh, I think so. Or maybe a two bank. I'm just trying to see two if I... Two bank gets you here. Yeah, will I have enough room to avoid the rock? I think I will. Let's try that. Two two bank. Whereas a two turn will get you here. Yeah. I don't need to shoot at the freighter. No, I'm, it's not I'm about the freighter. The two turn here, because this guy's coming around like this. I would like to try and finish him off. We'll see if I can do it. Not confident. Because he does have full shields still. Two turn. Yeah. I, okay. I think two turn is the call. All right. Let's, but I mean, like, you know... I'm, I'm going to do it. All right. We're working together. Here we are. Okay. Oof. First things first. Freighter. Yeah. Uh, that freighter there, he's he's evading. 
Okay, so he's gonna peel off to this way. <laughs> right in my face. Either way, you would Thanks, freighter your... captain. It would have been in your what face either way. Jerk. Okay, and his friend? Uh, Battle station is the three forward maneuver, so he's wow. bucking it. The ent our entire plan didn't work out. <laughs> the two turn isn't gonna. They like, scatter fast. The, the, the two turn didn't work. If I did the three bank, I would have got him. Mm. Damn. Wow. It's great. Okay, so what this a guy, great game. Roll for him. Uh, let's see here. Him, yep. uh, six. He's going after. I think I'm closest yep. now. So he's in the back. Yep. Back corner. Uh, two turn. Is that a swerve? Is That'll be the rock. He's not gonna be able to do this in any way. Yeah. So he, he does. Turns into a two bank, which bumps his friend. Yep. He just tries not to hit the rock. Well, maybe I can destroy him, although he's not really a threat. No, he's a, he's a joke. He's not hitting anything. Okay, so he's done. Scan there. No scan, he bumped. Well, this guy, we don't know about him yet. Yeah, Mr. Scan's gotta go. Yeah, the new uh, Dominion ship for this round. Mm -hmm. Boy, I keep knocking the turn counter here. Let's try not to do that. Okay, the new Dominion ship for this round. Let's see where he's headed. Chasing me. And it looks like it is in... Corner right. Yeah. That's Three. gonna be a two bank chasing me. That's not bad. Yeah, he's coming. Good thing he'll be out of the way. Yep. Maybe. Uh, he does get the battle station though. Okay, now it would be me? Um, yep. Hard. And then the elite, then me. Hard two. Now, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh, I should have revealed it. Never mind. So he could have made it a hard three and got into his backside, but that's fine. Still, it's range one. Okay, so I'm still getting good quality. Yeah, base. it's all good. That's fine. All right. And then you, unfortunately, aren't going to get the, the quality well, target. What are you you're taking for actions, though? I think I am hitting him because I'm doing a two turn. Uh, that's why I said you're not getting the. So I'm going to do this. Yeah. Def defend I up a little bit. I think that's that's the better option for me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so the elite. Chasing you. He's going to do a three turn. See, I That's knew curious. it. I knew it. Way I too, knew way it. Way too sharp. No, that is perfect. Look at that. Oh, um, God. Yeah. That's disgusting. I may still shoot at him. Let's I think see. I think you're going to get a station still. scan. Well, if you can shoot at me instead of you. No, that's not going to happen. I'm going to bump here. Boo. No target lock this turn. Only, only many dice. Not that many because you're at range two. Still five. I still think you take this guy out. I can do that. Just just because we got uh, we we try together. Mm -hmm. Well, um, actually, I, hold on. I have to shoot first anyway. So yeah, you do shoot first. All right, go ahead. Uh, well, here's the freighter? question. Yeah, I take the freighter out. Freighter with six dice. I oh wait, my... wait, wait, wait. If you take the freighter out, mm -hmm. um, you have to dorsal the elite. You're out of yeah, dorsal I have range. To dorsal. Do I, yeah, should I dorsal or should I? Should we try to get me with my five dice on the freighter, with 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 quality, and you just try and take down that elite for a bit? I can do that. I'll come about next turn because he'll move. He'll move before me, yeah. and I'll just flip behind him. And I need. I want to turn around anyway. So yeah, yeah. get rid of the freighter. You. I thought you were getting rid of. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, get rid of that. I'm going to go the, for the yeah. ace. Yeah. Okay, it's range two. It's only yeah. five dice, and no mods to speak of. Hit crit. Oh. That's not terrible. He gets two defenses? Uh, yep. I, I really just wanted him to spend the battle station. Uh, which he battle does. Spent, and one damage goes through. Yep. All right. Well, that's one of his shields. Good hit. That's, that's actually very helpful. Yeah, for Thank sure. Uh, I guess now he shoots me. Uh, yep. Here's uh, four dice into my eyeballs. <laughs> and I get one evade. Uh, three. Ooh, no. No, no. Spent, just yeah. two. Yep. And one evade. Worth. Oh, plus evade. Yeah, hey, there oh, we go. Joshy, save Covering me. you, yeah. Yeah, that was, a, that was great teamwork there. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm going to... And he's spent this. I'm going to go like this, because, I mean, that was the point of having these cool things if you can't yeah. them spin around. Um, and well, then I guess I get the perpetual shoot. Perpetual lazy turn. So I'm going to get five, five, di uh, yeah, five dice into the backside of this guy with some quality. He's going to get one defense. See if it helps him at all. Uh, only three, because I don't have a target lock to spend. Okay. What you reduce? One evade. Two. Yeah. He so survived. He two. He's got, I'll put mission tokens on him as hit points. He's got one hit point left. That was so close. I didn't even spend mm -hmm. that yet. And uh, I guess what else is shooting right now? This guy is out of range. Forever. This guy's pointing the wrong way. He's pointing the wrong way. And that's, we're next that's round. That's it. Round four. 
Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. It hasn't over yet. Another ship comes? Yes. What? Yes. You said this was the introductory mission. Yes. How is this the introductory mission? It's lots of freighters to blow up. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. All right. It is a Cardassian Galar class no. showing up. No. Be no. rude about things. No. Not That's not fair. No, what do you mean it's not fair? That's not fair. Kill the freighter and leave. We're the one ambushing them. Why are they ambushing us? They called for me. It's a convoy going to Cardassian space that got halfway there. Here are the Cardassians. Okay, you know what? I appreciate the bonus XP. We need just to get the hell out of here. <laughs> leave. Yeah, we can leave. Like, we need to just go. Mm -hmm. Where's my exit point? The, uh, my edge or this edge? Well, it's two. not that edge. <laughs> Where gotta, the Cardassian go is? This yeah, way. probably not. Oh, my God. And let's see what the... Oh, it's a standard. It's it's not an elite, so it's just a regular card. But Cardassian Galar class, because you haven't seen one yet on camera, a bit beefier. He is four attack normally, one defense, four hull, and three shields. So he's uh, seven total hit points instead of five, like your typical Jem'Hadar attack ship. Um, and the other thing is that they really like to target lock. And they have the 180 degree firing arc. Yeah. So they tend to be a little bit more like locking down areas. I'm really excited for this. Mm, okay. <laughs> really excited to legit, get blown up by legit. this. Chase this guy. Chase this guy this way, finish him off, and leave this edge. Um, what are you going to do? Come about or are you just going to go? I'm going to go this way. Why? Why don't you just go that way and get the hell off the board? I could do that. If I go this way... and We I don't get bonus XP unless we kill both of those guys. Mm, I'll check. Yep. Okay. I'm not going after this guy. If I if I get a shot, I'll try. But there's no point. So I'm gonna but do. It's faster for you to turn this way now. I'm gonna do a hard three way. to go this way. That sounds right. And just get out of dodge, and we'll see what happens. Hard three. Okay. Not hard two plus helmsman. Okay. Hard three plus helmsman. So it's a red. There is no turn four in the game. There's no, there's no ruler four. for a hard four. So you can't do it. No. Nah. Best you can do is a. Uh, I mean, you can do your white two turn and make it a three turn with Helmsman. That's still white, and you get an action. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's a four bank. I guess but I, I don't do, think I guess helps I, you. Uh, well, the four bank just gets me further away, right? Like it. Yep. It's gonna get me further. Uh, it's gonna get me away from these guys. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. And then if I go four bank, I'll end up here, and then I can do another bank this way. Uh, I need to. I think the right thing to do right now is to just do the. I think I need to do the hard three. Naturally, okay, because that's going to get me about here, and then I can do. No, wow, I'm in I'm in rough shape. You need the actions. You need the action economy to survive, or at the very least, have the battle stations. So you can also get my focus or my um, target lock and finish it off. Oh, this is not good. It's at tricky. All. It's tricky. Maybe it is easier to go the other way. Yeah, you're shieldless, right? So you have five hull. Yeah, I'm I'm in trouble. Okay. Uh, mm. It's not that dire. I don't think I can run this guy down. I don't think I'll catch him in time. Are you going to go that way? Or no, are you just I gonna... don't think it makes sense. We have to get off the board. Hmm. <laughs> that Galar is going to hurt so bad. Yeah, well, I don't want to fight that guy. Let's. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> I think I'm going to... I think I need to go... I think I need to do the... I think I need to do the hard three. I think I think you need to do the hard two, turn it into a hard three with Helmsman, and still take all your defense. All right. You need that evade token. I do, I do. So if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna do a three forward. This is gonna this is gonna be some wacky. I'm putting like, I'm putting Helmsman here. So you're gonna this, three this forward. Is, uh, this is what I lovingly call the air traffic control phase, where we <laughs> figure out exactly who's gonna crisscross who in which way. I'm gonna do a three forward. So hopefully. Uh, freighter moves, you go this way, he goes this way, I go this way, and nobody bumps. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. All right, well, I'm <laughs> I really want to give you a target lock. I'm just going to get this out now so we remember to do it. Yep. Um, and then we're going to start our movements. So this guy first. Yeah, roll for his, uh, his crazy. Blank. Man. He's going far. Yeah, the blank is a two forward. So not that far. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't do the four bank because I would have hit him probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's out of the way. Give the man a battle station. Yep. Roll a green die for him. Not that we care. He's three out. But no he's, got, no, he's banking. 
Yeah, well you would have to bank anyway. Both directions are the same way. Let's see if he takes a damage from that. <laughs> Imagine he died from it. He, he can't. He doesn't. He can't. Okay. There's no token. Oh, well, that's good, man. Shot. Let's go after him. No. Get punched by the Cardassians. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, next up, that gem hitter. Yep. He is in. Uh, he's closest to you, and he's back quadrant. Yep. He's going four. What's that? <laughs> Two turn. It's pretty good, actually. Yep. Yeah, he may actually have me in arc. He may. Okay. He's gonna. He's got do you in arc, so battle station. Yep. This gem uh which arc am I in? Top corner, yeah. Yep. Chasing on One. the diagonal two forward. Is that yeah. even any good for him? No, I don't think so. He's playing a long game here. Not really sure what that's about. Scale. Maybe hoping to swoop around behind. Yeah, uh, should, I think he actually... I am in arc. He'll take a battle station, but I don't think he'll do anything with it. That's fine. Next up. Next up is you, then the elite, then me. So I'm doing the three hard, right? The three turn? Yep. Using that helmsman. What stinks is that I might and, and it's a disable this card. Yeah. Yeah. So I will give myself this mm -hmm. plus this. Yeah. You're going to have to dorsal array the freighter. And I am out of range from this guy. Yay. Luckily. Like, like, by, like by a sliver. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the elite chasing uh, you are closest and it's the 45 degree line. It's gonna be a two bank. Okay, guess he decided not to fight you. He's trying to joust me. Bumps into me. Bump. Okay. Pull up. <laughs> it's actually my favorite part about having models on magnets is that they don't, the models never collide because you just- You're going into this guy, so if we focus this guy down. Kill the freighter. I guess we don't really gain anything from killing the freighter at this point other than we'll feel good about it. <laughs> Fewer supplies for the Dominion War effort. Do you think you hit that guy? Oh, that's a great question. Let me check my arc. I think, yeah, I think you got him. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that guy's toast. He you get you first anyway. Well, so move, take target locks. What do you want to shoot at? I kind of want to drop lock into this guy for okay, a bit. There you go. He gets to shoot me anyway. Oh, he doesn't. You're not being shot by anything. Hey, hold on a second. What are the odds of us routing around to get that guy? Zero. Okay. Next turn he's here. We're here. Then he's gone. So we, we missed him. He scattered too too quickly. Yeah. All right. We're good. Um, you get first shot. I do. Six dice. Oh, no, no, no. So it's five normally. Range one is six. <laughs> and I have reckless assault because I'm in his arc and he's in mine at There's range one. one. Seven dice. Seven dice with a reroll? With, with target lock. Mm. Mm. What you're gonna use? One, two, three, four dice to reroll. So hit, hit, crit, plus hit, crit. So three hits, two crits. Two of eight dice, ready? Two dice with battle station. Oh. Okay, goodbye two hits. Shield, shield, crit goes through. He already has the shield taken off. You're right. So two, two crit. crits go through. Come on, extra damage, come on, extra damage. Damage sensor array, so he's not gonna be able to do his actions. And jostled navigator, Another damage one with... on overlaps. <laughs> Why don't I just kill him? There's so, there's so, really nothing left of him. Why don't I just kill him for the feel good? If you like. All right? Yep. We also forgot to move oh, the then Cardassian. He, then he doesn't get the shot on you. All right, move the Cardassian, yeah. <laughs> Let's move the Cardassian before that dice rolls. Yeah, he's only skill two, I believe. He's in the top corner for you. Yep. This is a hard three for him, which is a little strange, but... Well, he's got the 180. I don't he think does, so. yeah. He moves in strange ways. He of the might still be able to hit you. No. No. Lucky. All right, well, us, you know what? But... I'm going to drop... Uh, is, am I in range of this guy? Like, can I actually hit him? Which guy? Oh, oh I am. With your, with your main? Yeah. It's a, yeah. Is that range one? Mm, I don't think so. Corner to corner? No. It's always within your firing arc, though. So the line you have to measure is oh, this one. So no, it's range two. Yeah, range two. But the asteroid's not in your way. Good news. Yeah, so four dice. Uh, yep. Uh, let's see if I can just kill this guy. We shall see. Uh, I will spend that. Yep, yeah, three. Three. Uh, he spends eight, his thing, eight. but it's not oh, enough. Dead. Peace. Oof. That feels good. Hey, you know what? They may get some of their supplies, but peace. <clears throat> the Klingon strategy in this uh, is ultimately, uh, let's destroy it before it gets to attack. And, and then the we have so many more hull as a result. But that's why I did it, because I wanted to kill it. So I could have yeah. shot one of these things, but I'm like, what are the chances? Realistically, if you really wanted to destroy this, you have next turn. 
Because it's going to be here somewhere. You could chase it. There is no way to get that, eh? I don't know. That's gone. All right. Yeah, we don't. We might as well leave. Okay. We might as well leave. All right. Well, my next action is going to be uh, four forward. I know I'm going to hit that asteroid, but I don't really care. Let's just get out of here. I still have a shield. I can cloak. (laughs) Do it. Go. (laughs) Get. I don't know if it's worth it. I might just evade. Oh, I won't get any dex quality. But well, no matter what, I'm hitting that thing. Like, I don't think I have a way out of that. Just plow through it. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> engage, warp, run. engage warp drive. Castle run. <laughs> don't tell me the odds. Yeah, all right. Okay. Let's do it. So we'll get all this stuff cleared yeah, off. Round seven. <laughs> yeah, you got to get off this thing. Did you yep. bank or did you go four forward? I'm doing a three bank that way. Okay, yeah, good call. Okay. Let's do it. I guess uh, this thing goes first, so we're going to roll... It is uh, this, so it's going to bank this way, probably. Is it round seven? He came in, for, this is round five. Yeah, I was going to say, we're not that far. Yeah, no, round five. He's going to go this way. There's one more Dominion ship on round six. We're out of here, right? <laughs> it's coming over here. Okay. I think, because he wants to, because he's banking on the... Oh. It doesn't matter, it's 50-50. Yeah, he's out. Peace. Yeah. Next one. Uh, you can yeah, roll for him. He's banking out of there. So oh, yeah, that, makes, the edge. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, he's way gone. Yep, bye. Bye. One gets away, you little lucky son of a gun. Mm-hmm. We killed that guy. So is this, this is, guy. Yep. He is in the top right quadrant for me. Mm-hmm. So he's going three, which is... Two bank. That makes sense. That's that's some pretty, pretty lofty Skill flying. two Cardassian. Skill two Cardassian is a two bank also. There you go. Fish tailing away. He, Look at him go. He is going to battle stations on me. I might get out of his range, which is good. Cardassian ends up with an evade. He can target you? So Cardassian uh, wants to get a free target lock before moving. And then after moving, his priority is to take an evade if anyone can attack him. I see. Okay. If anyone's at range three. Now it's my turn. And I'm going to go Quattro Forado. Yep. Roll that asteroid. Yeah. Just going full tilt. <laughs> he's, like in the air. he's butt in the air. Uh, I uh, will take one on the way out. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get shot up from behind and killed because of that stupid decision. Yep. Okay. Mm. The, the good news is this guy's not hitting me. Now it's the elite. Yeah, elite chasing me. Uh, this is a three come about, but I think I'm going to be long gone. This is good. This is really good. This three come about is sick. All right, oh. I'm over here. Though, uh, nowhere, nowhere near. I think we won. Cloak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Can that guy hit you, though? Uh, if he can, I don't particularly care. I just get a ton of dice for cloak. Yes, he can. But you're cloaked. I'm cloaked. Well, I have seven hull. He's not going to hit me. Let him take a pot shot, because on the odd let chance that that four crits gets through. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. And if I recall correctly, it's been a hot minute since I had to cloak a Klingon ship. I believe cloak is plus four agility, but it you is don't plus get your four. shields. It's plus four. Yeah, there we go. All, All right. right. So let's let's see. Here, I'll roll four. Ready? Five defense dice. Ready? Yeah. Four crits. Oh. I'll hit crit. I could I could eat crits like nobody's business. Yeah. One evade. So, so you, yes, you do take the crit. I do take a crit. <laughs> let's see what it is. Well, Just... welcome to playing a Cleon ship, everyone. Yeah, put that in the in the thing. Of course it is. It's a direct hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're just like, oh, like, you know, cloaking will keep you so safe. It's like, no, no, not so much. No, no. Really, the reason to cloak is so that you can sensor echo, which lets you move laterally. So I cloaked, think it's safe but... to say we get out. Oh yeah, we've escaped. Yes, no, no I... question. We did our mission. We got one experience. That's that is better than some of the previous. So attempts. let's so we did succeed, everyone. We just didn't get yeah. this lucky guy got away. Well, we let him go. Mostly because he has many friends who are hunting us down. Yeah, we we were in trouble there. Wow. Yep. Now you got it. You really got to strike and fade in this one. It's tricky. This is a great mission. This is a really, really good mission. I appreciate this one. All right. You really know how to pepper people in the opening scenario, dude. Yep. Jeez. Target rich environment. Let's read the ending. What happens? Okay. Success. Every chance we get to disrupt the Dominion's supply line helps us maintain control of the Alpha don't. Quadrant. Good work, captains. Dum, dum. Proceed to play the mission Call to Arms. Dum, dum. 